Pinky finger, oh yes. You have passed the test, Tuxedo. That's awesome. Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. Today, I'm going to unbox something from Tuxedo Computers. So, this arrived yesterday and it should be the Infinity Book Pro 14, the one that has the 16 by 10 aspect ratio and I think 2880 by 1880 resolution uh, Intel i7 Tiger Lake. Let's just open it up. No foreplay, let's just get right to it. I have a proper knife this time. Before we go any further, I should say this is not, uh, this is not gonna represent a customer experience necessarily uh, because this is a slightly early uh, revision of the hardware, kind of a, like an engineering sample. So it's not a final, final retail version, but I still wanna see what's in store for us with this guy. Oh man, getting excited already. Quality checked by Tux, that's cool. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. Let's just, should we, nah. Let's save this for a second. All right, we've got ourselves another Tux mouse pad, awesome. I have like three of these now. Very cool, okay. Put that guy there. Now, what is this? Ooh, what is this stuff? Let's see. Another quality checked by Tux. I like this. Uh, I don't know what it is about it specifically, but I like, um, it kind of reminds me of the Nintendo seal of approval, you know, like, Look, there's an actual human being that wrapped this and put that sticker on there and, you know, made sure that the product is okay. And this is, uh, this is what customers can look forward to, I think. All right, so... Oh, yeah, nice. All right, all right. Wait, wait, we got something else here? Okay. We've got a couple tuxedo pens. And a nice lanyard. This is cool. I actually don't have any lanyards anymore, so this will come in handy. Cool. Uh, a notepad for our pens. And we've got a a brochure about my tuxedo cloud. This is a personal login for my tuxedo cloud. Nice. This is in German, I believe. I think you can specify English or German for your overall product, but uh, ah, tuxedo control center. Okay. It's a nice, um, you know, it's not just like a piece of paper, right? It's it's a nice little booklet, full color, nice print. Thank you, good people at tuxedo. Thank you for not putting, well, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that you didn't stick that on the laptop. So that's, that's a nice move. Uh, this is the Web FAI stick. You can just stick it in your tuxedo system and get yourself connected to ethernet. And, uh, and then it will just download like a minimal installation script and you can install tuxedo OS or a whole bunch of different Linux distributions, different desktop environments, etc. So really nice to have. And this is probably here to ensure that you can get connected via ethernet when you wanna do that. Yeah, nice. So we just have a USB-C to ethernet adapter because this guy is probably so thin. Let's have this handy anyway. This is the uh, Tuxedo Pulse 15. And as you can see, it does have an ethernet port. And this is gonna be our power brick. And I think that's it. So yeah, this is just gonna be a standard power brick. I've got the, of course, the EU version. Put that over here. Right. 
Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. That is, I mean, it's slim. Feel, yeah, wow, it's light, it's, it's super light. Ladies and gentlemen, the test. I do this for every laptop. Uh, it is, it's, it's not going to necessarily indicate, you know, a great product, but it's a good, um, it's a good engineering accomplishment when you can just open your laptop lid with a single finger and the chassis will not move around. So let's try it. Pinky finger, oh yes. You have passed the test tuxedo, that's awesome. So 16 by 10 aspect ratio and we've got a uh, standard international keyboard here. Let's take a look at the sides, yeah? So we have our power, we've got HDMI out, we've got USB 3, we've got USB C. On the other side, uh, looks like we've got headphone jack, SD card slot, another USB, and another USB C. And I believe that one of these, I'll have to double check and see if one of these is Thunderbolt. I think it is. So yeah, the um, I, we need to get a good look at these at the bezel. This is the thinnest bezel that I've seen on a on a tuxedo laptop. But let's see what the bezels are like on the Pulse 15. Um, okay. So here is the Pulse 15 and the Infinity Book Pro 14 side by side. Let's line this up a little better. Yeah, these are uh, at least I don't know two three centimeters narrower. Uh, the top, the top is narrower, the sides are narrower, the bottom is definitely narrower. Now that of course comes at the expense of the, uh, the tuxedo logo here in the center, but that's perfectly fine. And again, I love, I love that there's no stickers, no stickers at all. They're in the bag if you really, really want them, but I'm pretty sure you don't. Here's another uh, nice difference that I that I appreciate personally. Your mileage may vary, of course, uh, but do you see how the trackpad, the trackpad kind of extends all the way to the bottom here, and I really like that. It's nice and roomy. I mean, you do see this more and more in Ultrabooks now, but so I'm going to bust out my, my my Oryx Pro, and although this feels this feels nice. Um, it's a little rougher, and I do appreciate the physical buttons on the Oryx Pro, though. Uh, but it's, you know, it's off-center, and that bothers me too. Is it these off-center um, uh, trackpads, touchpads, bother me? And this one's just a little bit too small. Yeah, th that feels good. Nice and clicky. There's a little clicky. Uh, my name's Jason. Well, that's cool. No errors typing so far. The color is good. It's, uh, I, I'm not sure if these cameras are really going to pick up on, on that, but the, uh, yeah, the angles are good. Viewing angles. Great. Don't lose. You almost lose no visibility looking at it off to the side. So that's nice. I wonder how the, uh, a little bit of flex in the keyboard deck, but uh, I think that's to be expected for something this this light. Um, that is one thing that I really really love about the Pulse 15, uh, just the overall build, the the build of the chassis. I mean, you you can really it's got flex too, right? But but you can really just these keys. Uh, still, this is, yeah, feels really good. I love this touchpad. Man, that's nice. You know what I've got to do? I've got to fire up Firefox, and I haven't actually used a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Man, I can, re I don't know why, but I don't know if it's the spacing of the keys or the fact that there's a little bit of depth to them, and there is, there is some nice depth to the keys here, despite it being so thin. 
Uh, so having that travel really helps me. I mean, I've got to have a little travel in my keyboard. Uh, one of the one of the most garbage keyboards ever is the 2016 MacBook Pro. Just just no no travel at all in these keys. It's just ah. So you want to check out Linux, but you've heard some things. You're gonna have to use the command line for everything. Linux doesn't have like any. So the speakers are, uh, and, and considering I've got this, this whole table is just a giant mouse pad, as you can see. Um, so it's got, you know, some sound dampening um, characteristics to it. And considering that these are downward firing speakers and I've got them flat on the surface here, sounds pretty good. I mean, no, don't get me wrong, it's not, it's not a high quality sound, but it's a nice, loud, clear sound. I've heard them too, and you know what? They stopped me from trying Linux until just a few years ago. God, I love this display. Man. It's so crisp. I mean, the pixel density is, well, dense. Okay. I have to test this resume feature now that we've got a, the full desktop environment running. That's, yeah, that's pretty fast. Um, so obviously there's a lot of benchmarking uh, that needs to be done and a lot of uh, just testing. Um, I'm gonna do a typing test, I think a speed test on a few different laptops because uh, I, I, I don't normally feel so comfortable in a keyboard, especially just kind of a generic international keyboard, but this one just feels right. I think it's the size. So that's its full brightness right there and it's plenty bright. I'm gonna test it in the sun too. Um, actually heading to the sea for the summer, so the Linux for Everyone Summer Series is gonna be back and hopefully I'll get a few more videos uh, cranked out than I did last year. So that's it, that's the unboxing. First impressions are pretty positive really. This is not a final, final hardware revision, but it's very close and uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about it for, for me to answer and things you want to see tested or if you have any questions uh, that you want maybe Tuxedo to answer, just drop them in the comments, okay? All right, you guys. Until the next video, take care and take care of each other. See ya.